Hi there, this is Osa with a new scrapbook process video. Today I'm scrapbooking my third cat. And this cat doesn't belong to me, but he's uh, certainly in my life and I love him to pieces. This is Svinto. He's a Maine Coon, um, bred um, expensive cat, <laughs> and he belongs to my sister-in-law. And uh, she got him uh, around this time of year, last year. And uh, these are photos of when I met him the first time. Uh, we met him just the, the other week again, and uh, he is so big. Uh, these cats, they are just enormous. <laughs> it's like living with a tiger. <laughs> and the, the tail is just amazing. It's so fluffy and it's so long and it, oh, it's just, mm, it's just amazing and uh, he's biting a bit <laughs> but but nothing that draws blood just very playful and uh, fun uh, i think he's a, a real cutie and he's got these very lovely kind of uh, uh, patterns very irregular and uh, and sweet uh, patterns and he's mostly gray uh, these cards that i'm using they are from the cat snap pack from simple stories and i got them from linda a while back and i have been really impressed how versatile these uh, cards are i will be making all my four cat layouts with these cards and you'll see how different they are and this time i went with the orange and the, the kind of the teal version and the two uh, previous cat layouts they have been with only one photo this time I'm using three photos and uh, but that's basically because I didn't have one that was perfect of Svinto uh, so so that would um, if I had had one uh, I think I'd gone with just one uh, photo here too but uh, next um, next layout will be with even more photos so it depends on the quality of the photos I thought it was really fun to vary the uh, colors of these layouts and uh, this uh, collection had uh, many uh, lovely uh, colors. You even see there in one of the back sides they, it even has the, the pink together with the hot pink and the uh, orange. So you could go with many different combinations of colors uh, for, with these cards. I am just arranging everything together and I'm cutting off small slivers of the cards to, to make them fit and I'm using the cut off parts uh, to make even more layering around the, the photo block and the kind of the, mm, the type of uh, layout is the same as the t previous two and uh, I'm making a huge big ball photo block in the middle with the cards around the photos and I'm placing it on white cardstock. Uh, today I've made something really 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 important in my scrapbooking life. I have been purchasing scrap goodies. Uh, if you have been following my channel for a while you know that I've been on a spending freeze since Christmas and uh, now it was time to make the purchases and uh, um, the like of the starting point for for the shopping it actually began last weekend when my favorite shop had this pr just perfect um, kind of sale they had 50% uh, off of their entire um, sale category so their already very low sale prices got cut in half and that's a sale you don't see here very often I can tell you that so I went ahead and uh, ordered and uh, I got a couple of really nice uh, paper packs that I've been wanting for a while and I also uh, ordered albums because I have run out of space to store my layouts. Uh, so that order I placed already last weekend and then today, uh, today's Monday and we've been off from work because it's national um, holiday here in Sweden this is the national day and uh, 
the second order I placed for cardstock at another shop and uh, I I pretty much combined the cardstock order with a couple of uh, single sheets from Kaisercraft and some that I had on sale and a new blade for my Silhouette Cameo so that was that order and then I saw that I had got uh, the summer collection from Simple Stories um, at the first place so I placed another order there and hopefully they will ship together so that I will only need to pay one uh, shipping cost uh, so that's the plan and I will make a huge haul when everything comes and so that you can see the stuff that I bought and I, I have realized that I am going totally crazy with Kaisercraft so the, it's my it's my mm, favorite brand at the moment I just love all their products I they, they seem to release an awful lot of collections don't they and <laughs> you need to choose because you can't buy everything at least i can't buy everything and um, yeah i i have been like nibbling at a couple of different collections and you'll see those uh, when i do my whole video back to this layout i made the same uh, thing as last time with the wood veneers but this time i colored them uh, orange to go with the small uh, hints of orange in the cards and now I'm also stamping with brown uh, in a couple of different places. Uh, just uh, hello beautiful, I think it says. Yeah, and here's some close-ups of the finished page. I hope to see you soon. I hope that you have enjoyed this process video. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself and see you soon. This is Osa. Bye.